Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my very first video which is based on gradient or slope of a line. So let's get started with that. Firstly, what is the slope of a line? It is the measure of steepness of line. And how do we calculate the gradient or slope? By finding the ratio of vertical change to horizontal change between two distinct points on the line. Let's break this sentence and first find the two distinct points on the line. Let's take one point as 1 comma 5 and the second point I'm taking is minus 1 comma 1. Now let's find the vertical change between these two points. Vertical change means the change in y coordinates, correct? So that would be equal to 5 minus 1, which is equal to 4. Similarly, let's find the horizontal change. The horizontal change would be the change in x coordinates, right? So that will be equal to 1 minus minus 1 which is equal to 2. Let's take the ratio of vertical change and horizontal change. And as you can see that gradient is denoted by the letter M. Hence I am writing M is equal to vertical change upon horizontal change which is equal to now, let's understand the mathematical formula for gradient. The mathematical formula says that if a straight line passes through two points x1, y1 and x2, y2, then the slope or gradient m is given by vertical change upon horizontal change which is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So now we'll use this formula to find the gradient of the line. Here we have been given this straight line. Let's figure out two points on the straight line. So one point will be minus 1 comma 6. Okay. The second point I'm taking is 0 comma 3. Now let's find y2 minus y1 which is 6 minus 3, okay, 6 minus 3 and let's find x2 minus x1 which would be minus 1 minus 0. So, m is equal to 6 minus 3 which is equal to 3 and minus 1 minus 0 that is minus 1. Hence, I get the value of m as minus 3. Isn't that simple? So you must be wondering how is this steepness related with gradient? So let's figure out the gradient of these two lines that is the black line and the blue line. I've already found the gradient of both the lines. So for black line the gradient is 3 and for the blue line the gradient is 1. You may verify the same using what you have studied just now. So let's relate this gradient with the steepness. As you can see from the diagram that the black line is more steep as compared to the blue line. And now observe the gradient values. You can see that the gradient of black line is more than the gradient of blue line. So hence I conclude that steeper the line more is its gradient. Okay. Let's take a look at a real life example. You can see this pet ramp. Right. It is less steep as compared to this slide of amusement park. And hence in terms of gradient or in terms of M I can say that the gradient of this, this ramp is less than the gradient of this slide. Correct? Next, we'll go in more depth about the slope of a line. 
As you can see, I have two graphs in front of me. Let's find the slope of each line one by one. Let's take a look at the first line. In order to find the slope or gradient, I need two points on the line. So let's take the first point as 5 comma 3. And the next point is on the x-axis which is 2 comma 0. Now we know the formula for gradient. It would be y2 minus y1 that is 3 minus 0 upon x2 minus x1 that is 5 minus 2. So this becomes 3 by 3 which is equal to 1. Similarly, let's find the gradient of the next graph. Here, let's take this point on y-axis as 0, 3 and the second point on x-axis as 3, 0. Gradient m will be equal to y2 minus y1, 3 minus 0 upon x2 minus x1, 0 minus 3. This becomes 3 by minus 3 which is equal to minus 1. Let's interpret when we have positive slope what happens. As you can observe over here with an increase in the value of x the value of y is also increasing or in other words you can observe the line is rising upwards. Hence when you have positive slope the line is rising upwards. Next, let's observe what happens when you have negative slope of a line. As you can see over here, when we go towards the right, the value of x increases. But the value of y decreases. Or in other words, the line is sloping downwards. Hence, when the slope of a line is negative or the gradient is negative, the line is sloping downwards. Next, let's take a look at zero slope. As you can see, this is a complete horizontal line which is passing through y is equal to 5. We'll find the gradient of this line. Let's take two points. The first point I'm taking is 7, 5. The next point I'm taking is 1, 5. We know the formula which is m is equal to y2 minus y1 that is 5 minus 5 upon x2 minus x1. So this becomes 0 by 6 which is equal to 0. Also you can see that on this horizontal line the y is not changing or you can say there is no vertical change in the line. If there is no vertical change, which means the numerator would be 0. And hence, for any horizontal line, the slope is 0 or you can say the gradient is 0. Next, let's observe the slope of a vertical line. First, let's take two points on the line, which is 4, 5 and 4, 1. Now again, using the formula for slope, vertical change, that is 5 minus 1 upon horizontal change, which is 4 minus 4, which is equal to 5 minus 1, 4 upon 4 minus 4, that is 0. Now, when the denominator of a fraction is 0, is that fraction defined? No. Mathematically, it doesn't exist. And hence, we say that the slope of any vertical line is not defined or undefined. Okay? That's it for today. If you like this video, please give it a big fat thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Share it with your friends and stay tuned for more educational videos.